Hello, 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 all the MetaGrid users around the world and those of you who haven't tried MetaGrid yet. I hope you're all good in 2021. I am, I really am. And my studio business also is because there are a lot of new things, new projects, new prospects on our way. And I hope that 2021 is going to be exactly like this for us and for all of you and also of course my metagrid is gonna work under heavy duty i also have some plans of expanding my metagrid working environment for example like getting a third ipad for myself i also think that the guys in the second studio i hire should get a metagrid because i noticed they work significantly slower than i do and i realized that there's nothing wrong with what they do these are very, very fine workers but the tempo is just purely metagrid. They are slower because they are skilled, but they are not using metagrid. So I'm gonna get at least one iPad with metagrid in the second studio for my people. And also I have still some apps I'm not using together with metagrid. And that's my plan to start configuring some, some additional metagrid layouts. One of them is going to be for my DaVinci Resolve software I'm using to edit all of my video content. And you know what? Let's make it a live process. I'm gonna configure DaVinci MetaGrid layout alongside with you together like on air, prob probably in two parts because I don't want to make the video too long. So yeah, let's get into it. All right. My OBS window is here working. You can see it also empty on my tablets. My Resolve window is here and also it's empty. Yeah, Resolve, no preset, nothing. And guys, this is for real. I mean, it's on the fly. I've ha I have nothing here. I have prepared nothing. I just launched my Resolve. Please take into account, this is not a Resolve tutorial. This is the way I work in Resolve, and this is mainly focused on setting up my MetaGrid to work with Resolve. So this is an empty project just started in Resolve, and probably I should start with just opening key commands. And keyboard customization is here, it's Control alt K, as you can see, it's here. And you know what? That's gonna be exactly the first thing I'm gonna put on my iPad. So, as you remember from all the pre previous episodes, I just click edit. That's my main grid. It's like six here, five here, it's 30 buttons. Well, I'm gonna change this view. So I'm gonna get into view editor and this grid should be bigger so the size of this grid i think i'm gonna be more comfortable with this grid for the big just for the beginning maybe I'll, I'll expand this later and just to activate the button so it's visible and usable i press it twice yeah i have this green little thing let's entitle this key commands simply and this is Control alt k so I tap here to add commands. I get into shortcuts, Control, Alt, and K. And let's find a cool icon for this. Maybe a keyboard icon is like an obvious choice. So where is that going to be? I told you guys have created so, so many icons. Like it's a gigantic work what they did maybe somewhere in computers or yep that's gonna be my my icon for key commands in resolve and uh, the color of the button background color is gonna be black for now completely and the button color i mean no no let's make like the settings the general settings should have a background at least for me this is how i set up my my meta uh, my my meta grid so let's make it resolve is something kind of a blue thing for me like like that would be a cool uh, choice so let's make the background blue and let's make the icon color white simply so this is my first button for using it with uh, resolve and let's see if it works boom how 
can it not work, actually? This is Metagrid, it always works, it's stable, it's reliable, great. So now I'm going to get into the section of media imports into Resolve and adding bins. I organize everything uh, as bins, so it's like inside the Resolve folder, so uh, all the content I work with is better organized when it's put into separate bins. So I use add bin a lot and probably all commands, yes, and it's control shift B here for me, yeah, I remember actually, yes. And these are gonna be some general commands for media, let's say. So let's say that my general setup of, of Resolve is gonna be at the end of the screen, so I simply drag this one here and media import export stuff. The same as I did in Nuendo. It's going to be just occupying this part of the screen. Add bin. Capital A, I would just say. Only, yeah. And I'm, go I'm going to make it Control Shift. And B. Mm -hmm. The same thing. This time I'm going to set the background is completely black, transparent, and I'm going to choose a cool icon for this and like a folder icon because bins in a Resolve look mainly like folders, folders here. So add a bin. Yeah, this is a cool one, like a very intuitive one and icon color. Mm, let's make it, for example, this section, all this section, let's make it yellow. And I'm going to also put it maybe like here, because also I'm going to open a project, save, close and stuff. So let's activate like more buttons here. Yeah. And the second button I'd like to create is like for opening my projects. And there's something called Project Manager, actually. In Resolve. So this is the name of the button. The icon for this skull is all gonna, also going to be kind of a folder like, yeah, this one's going to be a cool one, an intuitive one for me. Same story, black background. I think color is going to be yellow. And tap here to mm, open actions. Project manager. Shift and one. Shift plus one. And close. Yeah, and these are visible because I activated them. They do actually nothing. They are here, but they do nothing. Let's check if my first uh, mm, uh, key shortcuts work. So this is my project manager. Yes. And let's see if I can make bins. I have to switch this place for this actually. So this is my window for median resolve. And let's see if I can actually create a bin. Yes, of course. So I'm going to call this one a video. I'm going to make a second one, call it audio because this these are the basics totally and i will upload some example clips to edit later on but now guys let me just finish my files and projects section but you know what let's take a short break i'll be back in a minute when i'm done with more buttons to test them with you okay okay i think i came up with some basics and i also created some shortcuts in resolve itself because yeah that's it i told you before metagrid makes mm, you know your app better and take new things squeeze new things out of it so yeah new keyboard shortcuts so it's all here accessible it took me like really three to four minutes and yeah let's Take a look. It's here. I have a project manager. I have a new project to create. I have project settings. I have a quick export of a project, really useful, useful function. Also, I can add bins and add timelines in my media uh, section. And yeah, actually, I feel like maybe I should move it here. Here, this one maybe should be yeah actually when you drag the button it's gonna move all the other buttons accordingly as you could see but no worries when i swipe 
a single button down quickly, it's going to swap with a selected button. The same here. Boom. Boom. Yeah, it's better. And actually, as you can see, I made this yellow like graded for, from lighter to darker. It's also cool in the color palette of mm, Metagrid that it's fixed, but it's well thought out. So uh, things look cool and well, well organized. Okay, guys. So here I got my key commands. Here I got some media uh, uh, creation uh, tools and project se settings like project tools. And also I got some key commands here and I think some addi ad additional settings here would be really, really cool. Like the main setup window, for example. And you know what? This time I feel like tapping it with two fingers twice and then pressing it with two fingers to copy the button. It's here. It's an exact an exact copy of a button. And now I'm gonna have, I need preferences. It's control plus coma. Okay, so I'm just gonna modify this. Control plus coma. And preferences, of course, need a different icon. So let's go to this very settings. Maybe there was something like settings, I think. I'm using the cog already, but I'm not using, for example, anything like this. Yeah, that's a good choice. Close. And now, of course, it works. Guys, okay, so I have my media and project section here. I got some very basic preferences, key commands that I'm gonna need at hand. And the next thing is gonna be editing itself. And lots of com commands to use are exactly in the edit section, like cutting, splitting, copying the files, rippling, not rippling, etc., etc., etc. But you know what, maybe let's do it next time because I really feel that it would be cool if my videos were shorter sometimes. So no summing things up today because we're in the middle of our process. But you know what, it's been already fun. I already feel empowered and like ready to work again in a faster way, even with this. And yeah, I, I can't wait actually to, to continue. And now I'm going to edit all this using this. So guys, take care. And I hope to see you very soon with this small Resolve setup. Cheers.